So the next thing I want to talk about is break tax. I briefly talked about this in the previous videos, but break tags is something that you're going to use over and over again, and most likely you will run into them or you'll run into a situation where you will need to use them. So what are break tags? Break tags are essentially pressing the enter key on your keyboard. So for example, we have sentence and then we have a sentence and then we press the enter on our keyboard and as you can see it goes down so that's what break tags essentially do but they do them within the html world so if you want to spread images apart and have one image at the top maybe a few breaks in between and then put an image and then maybe break it and then have a few paragraphs and break that paragraph apart it really adds white space and it makes things look a lot nicer so that they're not all clumped together. So that's really what break tags are all about. Now, break tags, you'll see them sometimes and they'll look like this. So I talked about this previously and I might've shown it to you previously, but they typically look like this. So let me make it a little bigger here. So they have the brackets around them like usual and then they have BR. So BR lowercase, BR capitalized, and doesn't really matter. So I like to keep things consistently, so I try to do things lowercase. So it's really up to you, and because if you're thinking, it doesn't really matter, well, there you go. Now, break tags, they sometimes look like this, and then of course, the newer ones may look like this, where it has a BR space slash but they do the same thing. Now the break tag is not having, they don't have an open tag and close tag. It's just combined together. So essentially the break tag is the open and close tag itself. So this is one of the special cases where in this case, there isn't really an open and close. So what's nice about breaks is it, let's say for example, you have a word, like a whole paragraph. So we have paragraph like this. So we do this and I'll, I'll make this, I'll make a paragraph like this. Okay. So this is a paragraph. What's nice about the break is yes. If you are using a HTML WYSIWYG editor, like composer, you can simply go through and press enter, right? Now, if you're looking at the code from the standpoint of just the code itself, and you want to put breaks into the paragraph or the images, and it's just not doing it, then you can always go into the code and you can find where there should be breaks and just put the BR tag. You can put the BR tag here, and let's say I want to break here, I want to break here, and I want to break maybe here, here, and here here. So when I copy this over, let's say, for example, into composer, into the source tag, maybe under right here, you can see that there are breaks. So we've broken it up here. Now, if we go back to the source tab and we say, okay, it had a break, but we want an additional break to create kind of a empty space or a line in between these paragraphs. So if that's the case, then all I have to do is add two breaks connected to each other. So there we go. So obviously adding breaks is very, very easy. And when I go back to the normal view, I'm able to see that. So like I said, the majority of cases you can use a WYSIWYG editor, but there are some cases that you will run into where the editor is messing up or even WordPress, I've seen sometimes when editing WordPress editors, sometimes you're editing the code and you're running into issues. And by knowing that I can go to the source code and simply add a break tag to the source code, it makes life a lot easier. So same thing with images. You can add an image. So we can go here. We can add an image like so. But let's say, for example, that it looks like this. You know, you got text here, and then you got an image here. 
So what I would personally do is I would find with if with a WYSIWYG editor, obviously all you have to do is press enter, right? But if you were reading the code and you couldn't figure out why maybe the editor was doing that, you could find the image, which is defined by the image tag right here, which you'll learn later on. But once you find that, all I have to do is add a break tag to it. Let's say, for example, I want to add three break tags. Go back to normal view, and you can see that there have been three break tags right here. So that's what the break tag does, and it actually comes in very, very handy in many, many cases. You wouldn't believe how many cases it would come in handy, and it doesn't really make sense right now, but it'll make a lot more sense when you begin to set up your landing pages, set up your WordPress sites and everything like that. And it just makes life a lot easier when you understand how to use it. So that's how simple break tag is. Just remember it's a BR or sometimes it's BR slash as well. So I like to just keep it simple, stick with that. And there you go.